Hey there, today I will show you the 10 best shoes for travel. These will be for vacation outfits, including sandals, boots, sneakers, and even high heels. If your feet have arch issues like mine, these are comfortable for casual vacation styles that can also be for a dressy restaurant. You can pack these top 10 shoes if you're going to be walking all day, touring Europe again. These shoes have not given me blisters on all of my travels. These are my top 10 best shoes for spring break trips summer vacations, fall trips, and winter travel. When I used to travel, I would pack my Mizuno sneakers because my feet have arch issues. I taught for eight years in sneakers and a dress or a pantsuit. I even went to an interview one time into them. Now I have invested in supportive shoes. You will also learn some travel tips along the way throughout this travel shoe video. I am a Houston pilot wife and I share tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world while having comfortable supportive feet if you do like this video just click that bell beside subscribe and you'll never miss one of my videos I share tips here and on Instagram the number one shoe that I have to show you is a supportive sandal I like this sandal and I have very picky feet it does not have arch support but it is supportive for me I found them at Belk only this year. They are over a year old. I like how blush colors blend with my skin tone. So think about that when you're choosing a shoe to go with several outfits. Because it blends with my leg skin color, it will blend with more outfits even if they are not blush colored, if that makes sense. Another sandal that I love that is supportive for my arch is by Merrill. They have the black version of this sandal available. And then there is also a new khaki-ish olive color that would also blend with many outfits. But the Chacos is another good brand. Teva is another good brand that I have used before, but not in a sandal form. But these shoes can get wet. If you're walking in an area with gravel or if you are hiking and have to walk through some rivers or brooks, I also wore these shoes in Montana, so I have a great video about things to wear in the summer when it's still cold and hot, if you wanna check that out. But I want you to notice a travel tip for choosing shoes that are flattering to your leg shape or leg length. Notice that both of these shoes do not cut above my foot. They, cut, they come down before they cross over my foot, elongating your leg, I think. This is a very supportive sandal for vacation outfits. If you like the blush color, I thought I would give Skechers another try. I have not been able to wear them in the past because they are not supportive, but these are very supportive to my arch and my foot. They're a little plasticky, but the reason for that is so that you can throw them in the washing machine. I thought that was great but I do like the more modern, thin, stretchy fabric of their bands. And I do like that they have the little toe section. Sometimes that makes it more secure. It has a clasp closure if you have mobility issues. This is my regular size eight, and I did order them online and it is a little too big. So I don't wanna fool with getting another size to see if it's just right. So I am returning them, but I was surprised at their quality. One feature in travel shoes needs to be the ease for putting them on. So think about that when you are purchasing a vacation shoe. Um, with mobility issues and bending over to reach your ankle to buckle a shoe or tie a shoe, it can be difficult. This is a great brand for walking to the beach. I bought these over a year ago and the Reef brand is now advertising these again in a white color. I didn't really want white because it makes my feet look so big, um, but these are completely waterproof. They're a good, solid, supportive shoe for walking a distance to the beach. Or if you're on a cruise ship, these shoes would be great for walking from your room to the poolside area in the cruise ship. The Velcro is a very sturdy, strong Velcro. I was very skeptical, but am highly recommending it. They also have a black pair that I think would go really good from the beach to a restaurant. And you can't tell that they're beach shoes. Um, and then they also have a bright turquoise color as well. Okay, these high arch sandals from Dr. Scholl's are Velcro closure very supportive. They're a light tan mix of colors. They look blush on my video and my picture, but they are definitely a tan color. 
I'm already happy with the blush sandals that I have, so I don't need to buy these Dr. Scholl's ones, but I will link them for you if you want to try them. Sneakers can be worn as an airport outfit as well as throughout the days in your vacation. And I remember when we were in Maui, it was so nice having a good pair of tennis shoes to wear at night after I had been walking barefooted on the beach and all that during the day. I have these pairs from Walmart that I got. They do have a memory foam sole. They're not like high arch support, but they're so comfortable. I love them. I bought two different pairs, one with this cute pink star. This is like a canvas fabric. And then be careful of the silver threads wearing these in the airport. You could wear them other days, but they might make the screener alarm go off if you wear them with your airport outfit. But they're so cute with jeans, capris, shorts. And I love this kind of, color the star on this side and then the inside is just the plain white but it's a pleather so it's a little more water resistant and you can only find them online at walmart so i'll leave that link in a little bit i'll share the three best no-show socks that i have found to travel with now these shoes are very comfortable they are the nike brand if you have issues with them i totally understand but they are so comfortable for me i wear them around my house especially when i'm setting up my youtube stuff i can wear them barefooted or with a no-show sock if i'm going to go out they only have the black available now i don't usually like all white uh, tennis shoes or any kind of shoe that's only white <laughs> because it makes me feel like my feet are humongous, but you can see that I use the bark outside in our backyard to make them a little more gray color. Anyway, I just think they're easy to put on and they look really cute with capris as well as shorts. A travel tip is to pack a really cheap insole and put those inside your shoes. If you're going to be walking around a lot, touring a city, or especially if you're going to be barefooted, those cheap insoles can be thrown away when you're done with them. And they also absorb your sweat and oils while you're traveling. If you're going through airport security barefooted, it's a way to protect your shoe from the germs on the floor. After security, just throw away that little insole. I almost bought these cute sneakers. They have been around for at least two years. They do not have any arch support, but like I said, they are very comfortable. They would be great neutral colors, especially with jeans. If I will be touring or walking all day, I pack Echo Brand sneakers. These blue smoke colored booties have gone with me on so many trips and so many soccer games when it's really cold. There are two reasons why I like these shoes besides that they are comfortable and very supportive and have arch support in them. And that is because they blend with jeans easily. So they're elongating my leg, but they're also keeping my foot warm. I wore these in Boston through 45 minutes of pouring rain. They are water resistant. In my link to Nordstrom, they are considered sneakers and they have not gone on sale in over two years, just so you know. They are an investment piece. These are also by Echo and they are a little metallic. If you are visiting Montana or somewhere that you need hiking shoes that could get wet um, and have some support and rugged sole to them, I highly recommend Merrill versus Columbia. I did not care for the way they fit my foot at all. And I've had these over two years. Merrill's making some really cute colored ones. So just, I will give you just a couple of links to check out. I will also be making a shoe travel video for men. So be on the lookout for that if your husband needs some ideas. Camouflage is a great color that will blend with many outfits. It is a neutral color. This shoe I almost bought last year in the tie-dye color and I'm so happy to tell you that they're back this year. They're very supportive. I wear the exact same size in all of Steve Madden's shoes. These are all at uh, DSW. They have many colors to choose from. They're so comfortable and look so cute. But a travel tip to think of, these don't flop, but pack shoes that or slide on shoes that do not flop up water. So a slide on shoe like this normally would flop up water, but these do not at all. Another shoe that I got and I absolutely love this is this shoe. It does not flop up. The support is really good. It has the toe 
things so it's not a complete slide on shoe that might slide right back off when you're walking. Um, they look great with casual outfits. They are a neutral color. They are a dupe for the Steve Madden brand and they would go from casual vacation outfits to a dressy restaurant type of outfit easily and there's hardly any heel but they're really comfortable. I wore these last week to Galveston Island for my girls trip. I love the versatility and the neutral color of them. I did size down since they were on Amazon. I bought my seven and a half and then my regular eight size and the seven and a half fit like great, better than the eight. I finally found a pair of high heels that will go with everything and give you secure, solid footing. These high heels from Steve Madden are so comfortable, supportive, they're easy to slide on and you just kind of slide these two little straps up. They do not get tangled like they are right now. I wore them to my 30, 50th, not 30th, birthday dinner. They are elongating because they're my skin tone. They do come in other colors. Before I share three tips to consider for travel shoes, I wanna share the top three best no-show socks that I have found. Bombas is probably about $12 per pair, but they're great for those sneakers. And when it's okay, if a little bit of the sock is showing, you don't need it to be completely no show. There's also a pair from Walmart that are a little thinner. It has the complete circle right here. And that's how you can tell. I have a link just for those, um, but they are great. And they do cover up when you're wearing sneakers, they'll protect your skin right there from the sneakers, especially if they're like a leather fabric or material uh, for sneakers. And then the best no-show sock, if you need none of the sock to show, like with some high heels or booties that come down, like that these are great there's something about the band that goes around the sock and the stickiness in the back it's like a really big sticky almost plastic and sticky fabric so these are great now the top three things to consider when you are choosing uh, travel shoes for your vacation coming up is number one, match your shoes with multiple vacation outfits. Number two is to choose a vacation outfit shoe that matches with your skin tone or your blue jeans or black jeans tone. And the third tip about vacation shoes is to invest in your feet. Do not choose a shoe just because it is cute for this vacation. It will be a treat to buy something new for your vacation, but also will keep on giving the whole year through, Clark. If you do need to know how to pack a carry-on suitcase, I will link a video right here in these iCards as well as in the description box below this video. If you ever are going through your day and you're like, oh, I wish I remembered that video that sh where she talked about vacation outfits, you can go into YouTube and then search Travel Tips by Laurie, vacation outfits or travel outfit ideas stuff like that, that will help you find them again. And then YouTube will recommend a list of my videos that will be around that topic. And you get to the description box, just so you know, by clicking the little angle down here below the box or clicking show more, depending on what device you're watching me on. Anyway, happy, safe, comfortable, protective, supportive shoe shopping and have such a wonderful vacation again. Thank you for your time.